What's up YouTube? This is Professor Croak and this is kind of like a sequel. <laughs> I feel like I'm writing a book here, but uh it's kind of like the second video to the last narration of the ladder match I had between uh Ninja Kun and I and yeah, so this is the guy that came into the battle and wanted he said my battles were really cool and he liked my narrations and etc etc he basically he wanted me to battle him and upload it and here i am uploading it even narrating i don't know if he knew that i was going to narrate it but here i am narrating it uh so he does have a gliscor on his team but overall it is a uu team and so is mine so let's get started here. Apparently I'm a chick now. Whatever. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't feel like retaking this. Anyways, uh, so Dragon Dance twice. He sets up his Toxic Spikes now. It's two layers, which could really cripple me in the future. And he switches out to his Stun Fizz, his, his little derpy derp. Uh, but it does get KO'd by the Waterfall. I don't know what he was trying to do, maybe he was trying to outspeed me and he was thinking I was going to go for the waterfall. However, here, uh, my waterfall almost takes the Torterra out, uh, but since it didn't, I kind of, yeah, my Feraligator went bye-bye. So, Bullet Punch does take the Torterra out, and now he switches out into, switches his Azulfin, basically. And the toxic, uh, toxic Spikes get the Raikou. And the Fire Blast. Oh, wait, that's not a Raikou. That's a Zork. Nope. Choke Testa. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. Okay. If you got that joke, then, yeah, I love you. Anyways, um, so the Dark Pulse did take out the Azelf. And Shaman gets poisoned, but, you know, Natural Cure. However, Natural Cure does get canceled out by the Toxic Spikes. The Fire Punch, uh... Shaman takes physicals all day, like pediatrician. Uh, I think I've already made that joke. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's almost ending here. This is a very speedy battle. Here I switch out because fearing the poison type move, cross poison or X scissor. Uh, I was thinking of cross poison because of sniper and the cross poison's critical hit ratio. The meter mesh does take out the um, Drapion, and it is pretty fucking borked. I'm not gonna lie. It is borked. Um, Meteor Mash, Metagross, and you is definitely way overpowered. Anyways, uh, it, it pretty much takes out everything. 87% on the Gliscor. Who knew that a Shaman could just annihilate a Gliscor? It doesn't really annihilate it, I guess, because I, I almost got pwned there. But ac Acrobatics doesn't do anything. I just wanted to ensure... I don't even know what I was doing at this point. I was just switching to Metagross to get that Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch doesn't kill it. Earthquake almost killed my Metagross. And I do take it out with another Bullet Punch. That was really... That that was a good game. I had four Pokemon remaining. I don't think this was... This was Risk... Uh, I, I don't know if he had a chance. I mean, there's some teams that completely counter the opponent's team. And I think this was kind of what it was. He just... His Stunk Fisk, or whatever, his Derpy Derp, uh, his Derpy Derp pretty much um, got taken out. A lot of his Pokemon, just, they're not defensively bulky enough. I'd put more defense on your team, and uh, what I would suggest is to pretty much just, just shove a Slowbro in there with uh, either Eviolite or Leftovers. Um, and slack off, of course, uh, if you're gonna do EV light. I don't even know. Maybe you don't even, okay, I don't know. But, that does give your team a defensive bulk, and it, it definitely could have taken those meter matches then, and I didn't have many, the only thing that could have possibly hurt, uh, your slow bro would have, could have been my shaman, and, yeah. But, for shaman, you could have... You could have gotten a Crobat. Uh, basically, you should go watch the video I had up with, uh, what is that, Ninja Kun, and take his Crobat, put a Slowbro in your team, take the stun Derpy Derp out, um, take the Derpy Derp out, and what else did you have? You had, um, 
you had Torterra. I would take the Torterra out because it's not really... It can't take the water type moves and because it's ground type and it doesn't really counter much in UU. So take the Derpy Derp out, take the little grassy dude out and put in Slowbro and put in a Crobat and you're good to go. Pretty standard there, but you know, it's still, it's still, it works. It works. I mean, that's another thing I want to tell you. Whatever works. I mean, you don't have to... You don't have to find Pokemon that are that are not used much uh, to create an interesting team. That that only works if you uh, if it, okay if you want one interesting Pokemon, put it in. Okay, I don't I don't even know. Don't just whatever works for you. Um, I don't really create interesting teams anymore, knowing that I pretty much get pwned by everyone else because that one advantage, one Pokemon advantage. Uh, a lot of people use standard stuff, but other stuff works too. I just wanted to give you some advice because you appear to be a fan. And so this is pretty much the end of the video. I didn't want to make it that long. Um, but appreciate it, man. Keep watching my videos and see you rest of YouTube. <laughs>